Let's take a look at some fantasy steals and duds and how our preseason predictions have panned out here so far and beat the odds. Don't go anywhere. Hello, sport fans. Welcome back to another episode of Beat the Odds. We're going to take a quick uh, look to see how well we did with our preseason predictions and give you guys our fantasy steals and duds after the first month of the NBA season. Uh, we are going to take a look at players not really all that affected by injuries, so have, that I've had a pretty good sample size of games, and uh, take a look at their preseason ranks and how they're ranking right now in Yahoo Leagues. Just to see who has uh, been overproducing, perhaps, and who has been underproducing so far to start the year. Let's start with some fantasy steals, and we're going to do some honorable mentions. Players that weren't really on people's radar here to start the season and have quickly become significant uh, fantasy basketball assets. We're going to start in Orlando with a center that came out of nowhere, Ball Ball. Back in it here, ranked 31 in Yahoo Leagues. Uh, preseason rank was 399. Basically means nobody was picking him up to start the year. So he was a fantasy uh, waiver wire gem to start the year. If you're able to get him here, then you lucked in at 11.6 points, 7.6 rebounds. Uh, almost two blocks a game on 63% shooting from the field, 85% from the line. He has carved out a role in the starting lineup, and it looks like he might be there to stay. Although, I don't know if I would feel comfortable saying that he's going to end up in the top 50 by the end of the year, because I do believe his minutes are going to be challenged. Bancaro's currently injured. Uh, we've got possibly a siding from Jonathan Isaac, so both of those players, I imagine, might chew into Bobo's minutes here. But he's shown to be a pretty steady producer, given about 25 minutes a game. So if he can hold that mark, I think you'll benefit from having him on your team for the rest of the year. Uh, up next, another honorable mention here, we got Nicholas Claxton. Uh, Pre-season rank was 142. I did target him in a couple of my leagues here. Uh, so he was going at the, you know, the later rounds of the drafts. And he's currently uh, in on uh, Yahoo rank of 30. 11.9 points per game, 9.1 rebounds, 1.2 assists, 2.1 blocks per game. That's where he's really shining. 72% from the field. He's not a free throw shooter, 38% from the line, but he's not taking a whole lot of shots, so he's not going to really hurt you there. Um, another player who is uh, quickly becoming a fantasy darling for all those who took a risk on him or took a flyer on him at the end of the drafts. Uh, with the uncertainty uh, surrounding Kyrie Irving and Ben Simmons, Ben Simmons is now backing up Nicholas Claxton. Uh, it looks like Claxton's uh, got a solid role here and should uh, should get a fair share of minutes at the center position uh, going forward. So that's going to bode well for his end of season outlook. I would put him probably above Ball Ball uh, at the end of the year here for what the ranks are going to look like. Uh, but yeah, if you're able to get him. Congrats to you there. If somebody's kind of dangling him in a uh, trade, I would actually take a solid look because I think he might end up being a top 10 center when this is all said and done. All right. Uh, let's go to our top five fantasy steals. Uh, first up, uh, preseason rank of 84, currently ranked 16th in the Yahoo game, Tobias Harris. Uh, 14.7 points per game, 6.2 uh, rebounds, 2.9 assists, 1.6 steals, that's where his uh, strength is, 2.1 threes as well is helping him out, 46% from the field, 79% from the line. Uh, he is benefiting from James Harden not being in the lineup at the moment here, so his, his rank is also perhaps a little bit inflated, I might see a dip uh, in his numbers here as the season goes on, but right now you are you are benefiting from an elite steal rate a really good three-pointer rate with uh, solid stats across the board. So uh, he's one that many, many people thought he was just going to be a forgotten fourth option on that team, but he's uh, he's carved out, again, a little bit of a role there for him, um, and he's getting some really, really good uh, production over the, the last couple of weeks that helps him push him up to this rank. Up next, uh, we've got Kristaps Porzingis, uh, preseason rank of 41. He's currently ranked 14th in the... Uh, in Yahoo leagues here you're looking at 20.5 points per game 8.2 rebounds 2.4 assists 1.4 blocks 2.2 threes on 49% from the line 81% sorry 49% from the field 81% from the line this is just a simple um, result of Porzingis actually being healthy for a stretch of games I I could see this as being a 
you know a ceiling type uh, output for a player of his of his caliber he is going to be a monster on on blocks and he's going to be solid on rebounds although I think his 8.2 rebounds he could even go a little higher than that but uh, a big option there right now with Bradley Beal hurt he's getting more touches he's getting more uh, more shots off so I would say that as long as he stays healthy he's going to be certainly outperforming his uh, preseason rank by the end of the year uh, next up, probably one of the biggest surprises of the year, we have Lori Markkinen for the Utah Jazz. Uh, currently ranked 10th in Yahoo. His preseason rank was uh, 79. And he's the owner of 21.8 points per game, 8.6 rebounds, 2.2 assists, 2.1 three-pointers made on 53% uh, shooting from the field, 84 from the line. His shooting percentages are elite. His numbers are strong. He's getting minutes. He is arguably the number one option in Utah right now for a team that is perhaps overperforming to this point here. But uh, nevertheless, Lori Markkinen just looks like he's going to be uh, the real deal here this year. So congrats for all those who picked him up uh, for the season. One of my favorite players of all time, of course, Raptor OG Ananobi is next here. He has a current Yahoo rank of 9, preseason rank of 56. Uh, this is, again, possibly injury-related with regards to the team. Right now they're down three starters, so OG's become a main focal point of the offense. And he's chipped in at 17.3 points per game, 6.1 uh, rebounds, 1.9 assists, 2.7 steals. He leads the league in that category. One block on 46% from the field, 82% from the line. So the shooting percentages, again, are strong. Um, he is getting more points of late because, again, he's the focal point of that team. Once Fred Van Vliet and Pascal Siaka make it back, um, OG is going to probably slide back into that third option, third, fourth option there with, uh, with Gary Trent. But the stands right now reap the extra points. The steals, that's not going away. He is an elite defender. He set it out uh, to start the year to be um, on the all-defensive team. And it looks like he's going to make it there if he keeps this up for sure. So for those who are banking on defensive stats, you're certainly getting them in spades with OG. Uh, and then last but not least, we got Shea Gildress Alexander, preseason rank of 47, and he's currently ranked fourth in Yahoo leagues, behind 31.5 points per game, 4.4 rebounds, 5.8 assists, 2.1 steals, one and a half locks on 54% shooting from the field, 94% from the from the line. Elite shooting numbers, elite defensive numbers, elite offensive numbers. Maybe you'd like to see a few more assists, but he's definitely more a scoring combo guard than he is a point guard. I'm guessing we may see some regression in the defensive stats, the steals, and the blocks, but I think the shooting, um, the offensive stats are here to stay. He is that bona fide number one option in Oklahoma City, and if they can put something together with the squad they have, they may actually make a run at a uh, seed here uh, for the playoffs. We shall see how that pans out over the end of the year. If they do, if they are going to go for it there, you may see Shea play a full season instead of getting shut down uh, towards the latter half of the season. All right, let's take a look at some fantasy duds. These are players who um, haven't really been injured, but have been underperforming from their preseason ranks here. We're going to start with Evan Mobley, ranked 64th currently in the Yahoo Leagues. His preseason rank was 39. Uh, he owns 14.8 points per game, 7.5 rebounds, 2.2 assists, 1.4 blocks on 55% shooting from the field, 71% from the line. It looks like the only reason why he's not performing to his uh, current ranks is simply because of the emergence of Donovan Mitchell. Uh, he has become the primary scorer on that team and maybe taking more of that usage away from Evan Mobley might be a little bit more difficult for him to develop in his second year. As the season goes on, I expect him to improve on his current numbers, uh, mostly his counting stats, but I don't know if he's going to reach that... Um, top 40 status like he was uh, drafted in the preseason. Up next, we got another second-year player, Cade Cunningham for the Detroit Pistons. 19.9 .9 points per game, 6.2 rebounds, 6.0 assists, uh, one and a half threes a game on 42% from the field, 84% from the line. 
Uh, currently ranked 118 in Yahoo Circles preseason rank of 26. Uh, Cade has been uh, out uh, for the last few games here, nursing his uh, sore shin. So, I mean, take that into consideration there. But I think we were expecting him to be a, a solid 20-point score in year two. And he's right on that cusp. So he's just really on the low end of those expectations. And shooting 42% from the field isn't really going to help your, your ranking uh, either. He's a bit of a high turnover rate there as well. So if he can increase his assist numbers and uh, look at shooting a little bit more efficiently, I'm, I'm sure he's going to course correct. Um, I, I'm quite positive he's going to get uh, better than the 118 uh, current rank, yeah, uh, Yahoo rank that he is currently sitting right now. Up next, a little bit of a disappointment. Third year guard from Minnesota, Anthony Edwards. Uh, he had some major buzz going into this year. Uh, he was ranked 21st in preseason ranks. He's currently coming in at 108. He has 20.9 points per game, 5.6 rebounds, 3.7 assists, 1.1 steals, 2.4 three-pointers on 46% from the field, 67% from the line. He's a free throw drag right now, which is a little bit shocking. It's below his uh, career averages. And honestly, he was touting his defense here, and we haven't really seen that so far to start the year. So if he actually can get on track with that, and clean up some of his percentages here. He should return back to form. I don't know if he's going to place within the top 25. I would be pretty confident saying he'd be able to place within the top 50, but we'll see how that goes here towards the end of the year. Uh, up next, uh, probably a bit of an unpopular pick here for all you uh, Lakers fans out there, but we got LeBron. Uh, Yahoo preseason rank of 18. He's currently ranked 99. Uh, 24.9 points per game, 8.8 .8 rebounds, 6.9 assists, 1.1 steals, 1.7 threes, 46% from the field, 67% from the line. Uh, again, here it's just a it's just a matter of his percentages being a drag. Here he's a heavy usage player, and he's just not, um, you know, putting up elite percentages right now. He's hurting a lot of teams. Um, his counting stats are fine. Keep in mind, I mean, he's what is this season 21 or 22 or whatever it is of him so this is unprecedented waters for him but for those who were expecting on a uh you know lebron to improve or match his numbers from last year have been disappointed so far this year um you know there's still time to turn it around but with the how the team is going here i foresee headaches for lebron owners as the season goes on with uh, that team really struggling right now, I have a feeling we're going to see some DNP CDs come LeBron's way here towards the end of the year. And the last person on the Fantasy Duds here, we've got Trey Young, Atlanta. Um, currently ranked 74th. His preseason rank was 14, so just at the start of the second round. Still putting in some big counting stats. He's uh, 26.9 points per game, 3.2 rebounds, 9.3 assists, 2.3. Three pointers per game on 38% shooting from the field, 91% from the line. It's the field, 38% on 26.9 points. Uh, that's going to be uh, fantasy death for your head-to-head -head matchups here. He's going to be a it's a very very big hole to try and get out there for fee, for field goal percentage. So that's where his drain comes from. Uh, he just needs to take better shots. You'd think that he'd be a little bit more off the ball with uh, Dejounte Murray. Uh, coming along, I think there's still a little bit of um, familiarity that needs to happen with those two to start to see those shooting percentages rise here for Trey Young. Uh, I don't think it's going to stay that way here uh, for the course of the year. I think that's going to course correct itself. I would put him probably in the low 40s, maybe 41, 42% by the time the year is done. But he's just off to a poor start here for shooting. So once he gets that turn around here, he'll be all right. All right, let's take a look at some of our preseason predictions and see how well we uh, chose the players that we thought were going to have good seasons here that you could get kind of halfway through the draft. Um, De'Aaron Fox first up here, uh, 25.5 points per game, 5.1 rebounds, 6.0 assists on 55% shooting from the field, 83% from the line. Told you guys to get him in the fourth round if you can. He's putting up second round numbers. So that is a win, I think, for our prediction there. Devin Vassell is next here. 19.5 uh, points per game, 4.1 rebounds, 3.5 assists, 46% from the field, 76% from the line. 
and currently ranked at 102 uh, for Yahoo ranks. Um, told you to, to get him in the seventh round. And he's performed kind of to that level here, although I do think we're going to see his numbers go up as the season goes up here. So I would uh, hang tight to him. Colin Sexton is next. 14.0 points per game, 2.9 rebounds, 1.8 assists, 47% from the field, 80% from the line. Currently, uh, Yahoo ranked 147. He has uh, not been a facilitator on this team, and he's not really got the lion's share of uh, shooting guard minutes either. He's kind of placed in that 6th, 7th man role, and he's not really thriving all that well, although he is doing better of late. But I don't think we won on that one here. I told you guys to target him in the 6th to 7th round. I think he was he's more a uh, waiver uh, wire find in some leagues at this point. Next up, we got Jamal Murray, 16.2 points per game, 3.5 rebounds, 4.3 assists on 44% shooting from the field, 73% from the line. Currently ranked 156 in Yahoo. Uh, another bit of a slow start for Jamal Murray, trying to get his uh, feet back under him here. He'll be all right. I think he'll actually do well here towards the end of the year. He'd be a good buy low candidate in my books. Now that he's got a couple of weeks uh, under his belt here, you might see that his production is going to pick up over the course of the remainder of the season. Next up, we got Ben Simmons. I uh, told you to pick him up in the seventh round here. He's currently uh, 5.2 points per game, 6.2 rebounds per game, 5.9 assists, 44% from the field, 47% from the line. Ranked Yahoo 246. Sorry guys, that's all I gotta say about that one. That was a bit of a bust pick on my part. On my part there, he's now backing up um, Nicholas Claxton at the center position, which I think is a bit of an odd fit there for him. We'll see how that plays out, but I don't think he's going to be returning much value for the course of the season. Still worth a flyer if you want to if if you want to see if he can turn around because the talent is definitely there, but he's certainly in his head and he's not up to the speed of the game yet here. So we'll see how that uh, turns out. Next, we have Alperin Sengun, 16.1 points, 8.7 rebounds, 1.9 assists, 57% from the field, 78% from the line. Currently ranked 70 in Yahoo ranks. Told you to pick him up here in the 6th to 7th round, and he's returning 6th to 7th round value. So I think that was a really solid pick there for those who grabbed him. And being that this team is pretty young, I imagine that he's going to be continuing to develop, and you might see some better numbers with him over the course of the year. Keldon Johnson is next, 22.9 points per game, 4.9 rebounds, 3.5 assists, 45% from the field, 77% from the line, currently ranked 75th in Yahoo, again a 7th round target. Uh, he is not doing what I thought he would do with the defensive stats, he's posting below one steal a game, I thought that would be a little bit higher, we'll see how that pans out over the course of the year. But the offensive stats are pretty close to what I en en envisioned here. I thought he was going to be close to a 23-24 point score. And he still has time to be able to improve on those numbers here as well. Uh, one of the two main uh, offensive threats here for San Antonio. Vissel, of course, being the other one. I think you'll see improvement for both of them here before the season ends. Next up, we got uh, Michael Porter Jr., 18 points per game, 6.4 rebounds, 1.3 assists, 50% from the field, 85% from the line. Currently ranked 33 uh, in Yahoo circles here. Um, I think that's a winning pick here as well, at least so far. Uh, he's doing really well with his shooting percentages, and he's chipping in across the board here. Probably the number two option behind Nikola Jokic for scoring, which is a good place to be on that uh league leading possibly Denver Nuggets team we'll see how that also pans out by the end of the year but uh congrats to all those MPJ owners I don't I can't say that I have any stock of him I'm a little bit uh upset that I didn't pick him up here I didn't reach for him in certain of my leagues but uh he's definitely panned out well for his owners uh up next we have Laurie Markinen. we kind of talked about him earlier here so we won't go into too much detail but yeah he's 10th um in Yahoo circles right now at 22 points and eight rebounds per game so kudos again for those who picked him up. Tyler Hero was the last one. 19.6 points per game, uh, 6.4 rebounds, 2.6 assists, 47% from the field, 90% from the line. Ranked 86th for Yahoo. We, I said to target him in about the sixth round. Um, I think he's doing well. I thought he'd be a little bit more of a facilitator to this point here and much less a rebounder. Uh, but that script is flipped for Tyler Hero. Uh, we'll see how well that holds up here over the course of the year. I'd like to see some more uh, assists coming from him, and that would make 
uh, this pick uh, stand out a little bit more here for me. But that's going to do it here for this episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, please do leave a like on the video if you did, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet become part of the Beat the Odds family. We are going to sign off for now, but we're going to catch you guys back on our next episode. Uh -huh.